Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle back. I'm going to be looking at controlling my media box here from my Antics laptop. Now, you may have uh, remember my media server in the house is running on Windows 7. Nothing fancy, it's Windows 7 Home. There's no streaming media or anything. I got one box, one TV, it's all plugged into it. But there is times that it's handy to be able to manipulate the TV uh, to manipulate the computer without having the TV on in the house. I like to do that from my laptop. So we're going to set up what's called a VNC server. And uh, uh, what the VNC server will allow you to do is log in with any standard VNC client and actually t use your laptop screen, keyboard, and mouse as if you're on the box. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Step one is to set up the server on the media box. Now my box is Windows. You can get packages for Linux as well. Just search for VNC server in, the, in whatever your favorite repository is. But uh, I've already downloaded Type VNC. Uh, I happen to like it a bit. So we're going to install that on the Windows box. Okay. And we'll go through all the mumbo jumbo. I like Type VNC. It's all it's all uh, open. You can download the source code if you want to. Uh, let's see, yeah, we're going to run this as a system service, and actually, all the all the all the defaults look pretty good. And it's going to go through the thing. You know, it's actually a very small file. And it should be a fairly quick install. Now, you're going to want to have a password, so I'm going to have a password on mine. Uh, this is the access password and you'll have to input this from your client on the other side and I'm going to change the administrator password so that my youngins don't fool with my settings okay now and there it is we got a little icon down in the corner and you can see configuration but honestly that's really all you have to do. Now, the Tight VNC website, and that's at uh, just Google Tight VNC. It'll come up. I'll throw a link in the show notes. Um, in fact, we'll go. To, I'll go ahead and go there. It's tightvnc.com, and it's going to give you, you know, a lot of information. There's a Java client. There's all sorts of clients, but they also, and I think I've outrun. Uh, oh, you go to download now to download it. Uh, and you see it's going to say download the DF Mirage driver and it's, it, p it has a pickup and performance. Um, I don't know if it's needed since I'm going between Linux and I, I'm pretty sure it's not needed but I'm going to go ahead and install it. It can't hurt anything. Well, unless I nuke my whole system but I, I, I've never had any trouble before so we're going to go ahead and install it. Now there are lots of VNC servers out there. Most of them are um, all compatible with any cl VNC client. It's, it's a standard. Um, real VNC is kind of the the de facto once upon a time, uh, the, um, you know, original, if you will. But real VNC charges for its enterprise version. It makes a, a free version, which is fine, and the server's fine. But it puts an annoying ad for his pro real product up whenever someone logs into it, which is irritating if you're using the computer for something, um, the TV for something, and the stupid ad comes up while you're trying to access the box. All right, so I am going to pause here, and I'm going to log in from my Antics laptop and show you what it looks like on that side and show you the Antics clients. Okay everyone, so here we are on the Antics laptop and I'm going to show you two clients to log in to the VNC server. I've got them both installed already, but if you need to install one, you can go to the Synaptic Package Manager. It's under Preferences and Synaptic Package Manager. Or you can do it from the Antics Control Center under Manage Packages. Again, making changes to root password. And you can just search for VNC. <coughs> and 
And you're going to see all sorts. You got GTK, VNC, all kinds of VNC. Here's a Java VNC applet. Uh, the one that I uh, am using, actually, I've got two. I've got Remina, and you're going to need both the Remina plugin for VNC and uh, the Remina base package, which is in here someplace. You can see there's even a tight VNC Java application. Um, there it is, Remina, R E M M I N A. And then I also use uh, XVNC, XVNC Viewer. It's actually X Type VNC, but the command is XVNC Viewer. I'll show you how that works. So now XVNC Viewer does not have, it's a command line program, but it gives you an X interface for, it's graphical, you'll see it once it comes on. But, so I run it from the run line, XVNC Viewer, and then your IP address. Now it's going to ask for the password, that's the server on the other side, and that is the access password, not the administrator password. And there we are. Now, tight VNC by default will remove the uh, server by default will remove the background, desktop background. Uh, it saves a little bit of the bandwidth, makes performance a little bit faster. But as you can see, that is the server. Now, I, I'm not a big fan of VNC Viewer. It works in a pinch, but I have some issues with it. Mostly that it doesn't take advantage of any graphical elements uh, that Linux provides. So I, that's why I like Remina. So we'll go to Applications, and once you install Remina and run the Update Menu uh, Utility, it will show up under Internet and Remina. And when you go to set up a connection, and you see I've already got mine set up, uh, when you want to set up a connection, we'll use this for Edit, it'll ask for the name, group, you don't really need the group, but you do need the protocol, and by default it actually uses RDP, which is the Windows Remote Desktop Protocol. If you've got Windows Professional laying around, this will work fine as, as, for logging into a desktop. However, Windows Home uh, does not have that, so that hence that's why we need the virtual, the VNC connection. Then down here you put your server here, a username if you have one, ours does not, password, for, and that's our password. That again, that's the login password, not the administrator password. Color depth. These are these are situations that are good with tight tight VNC that allow you to uh, speed things up a little bit. You got some advanced tabs here um, for 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 other for other things. If you need them, you'll know. Um, and then you just click the button here to connect. And there we are. And you see, this one has actually scaled to my desktop. But it works just the same. This is great if you need to uh, rip a DVD. You can do it from your, from, from your Annex box to your other machine and then leave it. And you can check it from wherever you are. Uh, there are VNC clients for your Android phone even that you can use to log in or your iPhone, whatever, uh, or your tablet. You've got other settings up here for full screen mode and then other modes we'll go back to we'll untoggle tasks there we go now type VNC does allow some it is a little cruddier quality if you use real VNC server the quality is actually very good but it's slightly slower it's a little laggy this is almost like being in front of the machine and it works over your home network can this be set up over the internet? Yes. Do I recommend it? Eh, not so much. Use something like uh, Log Me In, or uh, something like that, to uh, or even Team Viewer to uh, to do those kind of remote connections. Those are going to be fat, slower because of internet lag. On your home network, VNC works fine. Tips, tricks, how tos. Go to annex.mepis.org. Throw us up a post at annex.freeforms.org. We'll see you there. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.